Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the KJV Giant Print Thinline Bible. So this is a newer one by Thomas Nelson. Comes in this sleeve here. So I'm going to get you closer right there so you can pause and read that section if you would like. Then we'll look at the features, which will include the KJV Comfort Print, which I love, large 12-point font, Words of Christ in red, full-color maps, 365-day reading plan, two satin ribbon markers, and gold gilded page edges. And then this one is in the black leather soft. Gives us an example of the font. And then there's our ISBN number. Retail is $39.99. You can find it for less online. And as always, there will be a link in the description box. If you don't like black and you would prefer brown, they also do offer this Bible in brown. So the brown is going to have a smoother cover and if you get thumb indexing, then you'll have this design on the spine of it. So I'll link that one in the description box as well. The measurements on this Bible is 10 and 5 eighths inches tall, 7 and a half inches wide, and it's just an inch thick. So pretty impressive for a giant print. We're going to have black head and tail bands. We can see our two ribbons. We've got nicely done gold gilding, which looks really good on there. And then we've got this really neat design just inside the perimeter there. Then we've also got that perimeter stitching, so that looks really nice. We can see on this black one that we've got that nice grain pattern, so it's got a textured look to it, where this brown one is really smooth, as you can see when the light hits it. So, two totally different styles on their leather soft, so really neat. On the front we've got Holy Bible. Then on the spine we've got Holy Bible. KJV and the Thomas Nelson Little House logo. And so we can see those sections there where we can see the texture and then the smooth. So I think that looks really nice. We've got that design on the back as well. So really a pretty Bible. And if you preach, this would make a great preaching Bible, especially for $40 and that's retail. You can get it for less. To be able to have verse by verse and a 12 point, that's going to be very readable. So. We're going to have our presentation page. Looks like we've got a slight little tear up there, I just noticed. We'll get into our title pages. Nice dark bold print. And then this one is a brand new one. So this is the first printing in 2020. It was printed in China. And this one hasn't been broken yet, so it's not going to lay totally flat for us. But we've got the epistle dedicatory. Then we've got the books of the Bible and the print on this. I don't know if the camera is quite picking it up, but nice, dark, bold print, which I really like. Then we're going to get into Genesis. So we'll have a double column format. It is verse by verse. And then we've got that 12 point font size. So really nice, nice print in this one. So again, if you're a preacher and you preach out of the KJV, this would be a great preaching Bible because with that laying in front of you on the pulpit, you're going to be able to read all of this. So really nicely done. There's not going to be any cross references or anything like that, but because it is verse by verse, after all these verses, you do have space to where if you wanted to write in a cross reference, you can. And you do have a teeny bit of space in the margins, but you would have to write small if you were going to put any notes in this one. We do have two ribbon markers. This is our first of two ribbons. Nice shade of red. It is just a single sided satin, but it is a wider ribbon. And it is really nice that it does come with two, especially for a Bible of this price range. Sewn binding, two ribbons, and retail is only $40. So that's pretty impressive right there. Get you into the Psalms, show you how those are going to look. And looking at it, when I'm just looking at it with the naked eye versus looking in the camera, it is just so nice and clear to see. And it's super easy to be able to see all your verses when you look down at this. So it really would be great for preachers. We're going to get back to our second ribbon marker. So this one here, it actually looks like a dark brown. It doesn't really look black. Yeah, so it almost looks dark brown compared to that right there. 
In some light it looks black, but in this light that I'm in right now it looks like a dark brown, so hard to say. It really could be black, but might just be this lighting that I'm in that's giving it a dark brown look to it, but it's impressive to see a $40 Bible with two ribbons, which is nice. So we're going to have red letter, which when the red letter is done well, I like a red letter Bible. And I can't quite get a hold of that page there. But there is a shot of our red letter. So looks really nice. Now because this is a thin line, we're not going to have any extras in the back as far as a concordance because that would make it not a thin line because that's going to make it more than an inch thick. But the red in this, and one thing that you'll probably see pretty quickly once I zoom that in is how easy you can see all those verse numbers next to that red letter. So, done very well. I'm excited about these because I've got bad vision, so giant print for me is awesome. Especially too, at the end of the day, after you've worked all day staring at a computer screen and you want to read your Bible, it is nice to have a font that's nice and readable. So we'll get back to the end of Revelation. We can see red letter all the way through. Then we do have a one-year reading plan. And these pages are all really readable too, which I really like. Then we're going to have a note regarding the type, which is done by 2K Denmark. And the comfort print has really, really spoiled me. I just love the comfort print. Then we're going to have seven maps spread out onto eight pages. You can kind of see from the way that the glare is hitting that page that it is going to be a shiny paper. It's a little bit thicker but really readable. I mean, the size on there, the print and everything is done really well. Then we've got some stitching in the gutter, so nice sewn binding. So once you break this in, it'll lay flat even in the maps for you. Then we've got our two-page spread, and then we just get back to the back of the Bible. But just a neat Bible. It's nice to have a giant print that's not two inches thick. And just really nice. Like I said, if you wanted to add cross references, you're going to have space after the verses. But this is just a great reading copy of the Bible, and I would definitely recommend one of these if you like either the black or the brown. And I'm still trying to decipher on that color whether or not it's a dark brown or not. It really does look dark brown. But you can get the black. You can get the brown, so depending on if you want something with texture, like I don't feel like my fingernails are going to do anything at all to this. You can't see any marks on it. Where this one here, you've got the smooth, so just kind of depends on what you like, but really nice Bibles. I would definitely recommend picking one up. You can also get these in the New King James as well, so if you're a fan of the New King James, grab one of those. The KJVs are going to be verse by verse, whereas the New King James are going to be paragraph format. So also keep that in mind. And I will put links in the description box. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.